Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Bakuri Box 12 here, and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God update video. So yesterday, Decker revealed to us a few new sprites that they're going to be adding to Oryx's sanctuary. According to them, the previous sprites that we saw in testing for the Oryx Minister, Ambassador, and Judge were only placeholders. And while I can't remember what those enemies originally looked like, the new sprites that we can see here are excellent. All three of these minions were found in Chancellor Dama's pathway, and now the Minister in particular has adopted a very reminiscent sprite of that boss. They look really good, although, I'll be honest, I was not under the impression that any of those sprites were placeholders of any kind. In fact, the one thing that I believe everyone was ecstatic about was how good the sprite work was. Orcs 3, the mini-bosses, enemies, even the environment itself, it all felt like an evolution of Realm's gameplay. There was no glaring detail about that area that looked out of place. So on one hand, I kind of want them to keep the old sprites, and maybe include these new ones as a variant, or as a completely new enemy entirely. But of course, on the other hand, if these end up looking better, or at least more appropriate than the previous sprites, then I could probably get behind the change, but again, I would have to really compare the two to have a strong opinion on that. What I am in full support of, however, is the advancements to the environment that we get to see. While again, I thought Oryx's sanctuary looked good. Colors were nice, setting was menacing, but in comparison to the high-detailed enemies, I suppose it did come across as a bit average looking, linear hallways with the same repeating tiles on the walls. I could see that coming across as a bit underwhelming for what we would expect the final area of the game to be like. So they've given a visual overhaul to at least his boss room. I'm not sure if Dama's lair is referring to the entire path leading up to him, or exclusively his room. Either way, it looks incredible. A lot more detail going on. Stone carvings, windows, flames, and the light from the window coming in and projecting on the ground, flickering with the fire. Those are the kinds of elements we could not achieve, at least not to this degree, on Flash. This is the kind of technical innovation that we want to see more of now that we're on Unity. Cool effects to enhance the experience and make us feel more immersed in our gameplay. Music was a great step in that direction, and animated flair like this is another. So I'm excited to see what else from Oryx's Sanctuary gets touched up, because from my experience on testing, I thought it was almost ready for release the way that it was. But to see them actually taking our feedback into strong consideration and making some very significant changes, even if only cosmetically for now, means that even people who did get to play through this many times on the testing server will likely still be in for a refreshing experience when the real deal comes out. However, that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See ya.